What's up, guys? Just after the training here with Ron Stallings, had me come out this morning, man. I ain't been training like that because my knee had been bothering me, so I'm out of shape, man. So he put the brakes off of me today. I'm listening to him. I'm listening to him. Just like um, bag work, basically. I was a bag in <laughs> the dummy, you know. So. Thank you for everybody like the sights now. Everybody like the sights now. It's, it's, it's not a sight for sure. So man, after we finish spar, man, we just sitting up here talking and, and chatting, man. We just have you on the back, you know. Mike Easton doing his thing today for me to go out flashing in the UFC and stuff like that. But I recorded after the round, man. I was just reflecting on the stuff and sitting and just thinking about the grind and the process of how long we take, you know, to get there. Because I've been on this road now almost 10 years, you know what I mean? And I'm probably well over now, you know what I'm saying? Working hard, grinding, and pushing. You know, it's been a minute, you know what I mean? But um, so just sitting there thinking, I was talking in the midst of I had an emotional little moment for myself. Like, man, what is wrong with me, you know? But if you ain't doing something that's worth it, to make you get to that place, then you ain't doing nothing worth having. But um, Ron was saying something right, kind of like bringing in more perspective. You know what I'm saying? About this time, about Mike and his power of music, so. Yeah, man, like, you know, Mike, 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 uh, we watch this, man. Hey, man, you gonna have this business tonight, man. We all back here pulling for you. It's like that last, uh, last UFC joint, man. I told him, I told him, man, I pretty much was, uh, almost in tears, man. And, you know, it's hard to say for me, man, because I've never cried on camera. Yeah, you know, I'm not sensitive like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I would never, yeah, yeah. I would never show my emotions like that, but, you know, you know, in private, say I might cry, but if I almost cried in public, man, just because, you know, you witness people, uh, might get, uh, for instance, you witness people go through, uh, so much, man, put a grind in, injury, setbacks, life. Um, and it still holds, it still holds to their, uh, to their goals, still keep a, a positive mindset. You know, that's what Mike do, man. That's why, that's why he's like the, he's the team captain of the, of, um, the Lord Army, Army, Mr. Martial Arts. It's because, it's because of that. You know, his mindset is so strong. You know, he loves that stuff. He loves the challenge. He loves to show the world, you know, what he's been working on, what he's been sacrificing for. You know what I'm saying? So, like, to keep everything in perspective, yeah, 10 years ago, you know the story, he came, came here, and so Master Lloyd, you want to be UFC champion. Now, in the midst of all those different trials, there was a bunch of opportunities for him to forget about that, to go somewhere else and drop it, whatever. He did it. This past fall, that dream came true. I predict, I predict, before the end of the year, he's either going to be champion or be fighting for the title. By years in, by years in, that's a that's real talk right there. That's real talk. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's an inspiration for you know brothers in arms back here at uh, at Team Blood Earth, Team Blood Earth, Team Martial Arts, man. You know what I'm saying? And seeing it, like you said, man, Mike got a personality and a mindset that's straight focus, man. Like he stayed the path for real, for real. You see him getting hyped on camera, and ain't nothing compared to what he's doing when he's training. He really hyped, really believes he can walk through Hulk Hogan. Back in the day when he was on, what's his name movie he was on with uh, with Rocky? The Rocky job, he was like vicious back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Club Lane. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, I mean, that's the type of personality he got. Really. He, he believes you can't tell him he can't beat nobody on this earth. Check this out. As a Christian, though, you know, because Mike's Christian, we all Christians right here. That faith walk is it's real, man. That's where you're supposed to be. You know what I mean? Going out there and being timid and thinking you're not going to get it. And what is, what is, was it James or something like that? Where, you know, if you ask whether you doubt, you doubt. Don't, yeah, don't, even, don't even expect to get it. Yeah, yeah. Don't even expect to get it. That's what he said. If you ask a little of anything and you doubt, he said, don't expect to receive anything from him. I'm just thankful just to see that. And that exercise our faith and push us back in place to seeing how he moving forward and believe and still going. So, Congratulations tonight on this victory you got coming up, Mike, man. And, uh, thanks for motivating us. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Fireboys. Unknown Warriors. Unknown Warriors. Back in.